Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to find the factors and then we're going to solve these given cubic equations in a super easy way. The next thing we want to make sure that our these given cubic equations are in standard form as you can see over here. Now let's go ahead and get started with our very first example. The very first thing I want you to just focus on the leading coefficient which is 2. So we want to make sure that this must be 1. So we're going to divide this number by 2. So that means we're going to divide by 2 across the board. So our new equation is going to look like so this is a new equation and we can see that our leading coefficient is 1. The next step is I want you to look at the very last number which is negative 3 over 2. We are looking for the possible divisors or the factors of this number. So our possible divisors turns out to be a positive and negative 1 positive negative 3, positive negative 1 over 2, and positive or negative 3 over 2. So one more thing I want you to look at the highest degree of this polynomial is 3. That means we must have at most 3 solutions. That really means that we are looking for 3 numbers among these possible divisors so we're going to pick uh, three numbers that if you add them, that should add up to this number 5 over 2. And if you multiply them, that should be negative 3 over 2. So let me just show you how to pick those three numbers. The easy way is this one, 5 over 2. Look at, focus on this one, which is same as 2 and a half, isn't it? So I can write 2 plus 1 over 2. So far so good. And now since we are looking for 3 numbers, focus on this. How are we going to tweak this 2? I can write as 3 minus 1 and then plus 1 over 2. That means we figured out our 3 numbers. 3, negative 1 and positive 1 over 2. If you add them that's going to give you 5 over 2 and if you multiply them that's going to give you negative 3 over 2. So that means our those numbers are simply 3 comma negative 1 and comma 1 over 2. Once again if you multiply these three numbers you should get this number and if you add these one you should get this number. Thus, our factor is going to be simply, go ahead and put down three parentheses and just put down x, x, and x over here. So the first number over here is, this is positive 3. I want you to put down positive 3 right up here. The next number is negative 1. It should go over here. And the next number is positive 1 over 2. That should go right up here. And now I want you to just be careful with this one. Over here, this fraction has a bottom number 2. I want you to drag it and move it to the front. So our factors pretty much is going to look like x plus 3 times x minus 1. And this is going to look like 2x plus 1. And our solution set is going to look like Look at these numbers, positive 3, negative 1, and 1 over 2. What I want you to do is just switch their signs, change their sign. This becomes negative 3, this becomes positive 1, and this becomes negative 1 over 2. And these are, this is our solution set. That's our answer. Okay, now we're going to move on to next example. I want you to look at uh, the leading coefficient, which is 7. I want you to make sure that this must be 1. So we're going to divide both all the way by 7 across the board. So thus our new equation is going to look like. 
So thus our new equation is this one with the leading coefficient obviously 1. Now the next step is I want you to look at the very last number over here which is 6 over 7. So now we are looking for the possible divisors or the factors for this fraction or this number. So our possible divisors turn out to be all these numbers as you can see. And in the next step, we are going to pick any three numbers among these possible divisors. If you add them, those three numbers, that gives you this number. And if you multiply them, this is going to give you this one. So we need to figure out those three numbers. Let me show you an easy way of doing this one. I want you to look at this fraction which is negative 34 over 7. Isn't We can tweak it or we can manipulate it. We can write as negative 5 plus 1 over 7. That's going to give you same number. Now I want you to just look at negative 5. Since we are looking for three numbers, so how we can uh, tweak this one, I can write negative 5 as negative 2 minus 3 and then plus 1 over 7 is already there. Thus we figured out our three numbers. The first one is negative 2, the second one is negative 3, and the third one is 1 over 7. If you add them, we're going to get this number. And if you multiply them, we're going to get positive 6 over 7. So thus the number we figured out are negative 2, negative 3, and 1 over 7. Once again, if you multiply this, these numbers, we're going to get this one, and if you add them, you're going to get this one. Thus, our factors going to be, just put down three parentheses. Next one, I want you to put down x, x, and x. The first number is negative 2, just put down negative 2 right up here. The next one is negative 3 should go right here, and this is positive 1 over 7. I want you to put down positive 1 over 7. Now in this parentheses we have a fraction and the bottom number is 7. I want you to simply move it to the front. So thus our, our factor is going to look like x minus 2 times x minus 3 times this simply becomes 7x plus 1. These are our factors. And finally, our solution set is going to be a simply just focus on these numbers, negative 2, negative 3, and positive 1 over 7. You just switch their sign, change their sign, and that is going to be our solution set. So this negative 2 become positive 2, negative 3 become positive 3, and this is negative 1 over 7. And that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.